Now, let's do interaction. Okay? If we have some stages like the lead end, what is the lead end? The lead end. Now I'm talking about the stages of your list. What is the lead end? Say it again. Can you speak her? Speak up, please, speak up. You are teaching. <laughs> Good. So it is like the warm up, but there is some difference. The warm up can be a game, like the one we played at the beginning of the session. Is, was it really related to the topic of the session? Yes or no? No. It was like just a game. This is warming up. So you can warm up with a game, with a, with a song, with a movie, a piece of anything. Even if it's not related to the topic. But if, you, if your warm up is like related to the topic, that's the event. Because you're leading your students in the lesson. Okay? So this is the warm up. Good. The language presentation. Now you are introducing the practice or the grammar. Freer practice. What is the freer practice? It's the speaking part. Again? The speaking part. Good. At the end of the session. Speaking. Reading from the chest. What's meant by just? Thank you, Sitra. Good. Name no idea. So it can be reading or listening. <laughs> listening or reading for specific information. So what's the difference between specific information and key dates? I can do. What makes it specific is that you can point your finger like that to the answer. So if you have a reading message, something like on the time of the movie, be specific information. The number of the movie, specific information. So if the question was, what room number were they in? 307. That's specific information. You can just point at it like that. But these names you have to read in depth and maybe rewrite what you have understood. Good. And feedback, taking feedback from the students and correcting the errors. So these are some stages of the lesson. My question is, who is talking to whom during these stages? Is the teacher only talking to the students? Are the students talking to each other? Think about that. So I'm going to give you this paper. It has these stages. And what should you write in front of each stage is that speaking interaction. Let me do the first one for you. Let me demonstrate. So in the lead end, who is going to be talking to all the students? What do you think? In the lead end, who is talking to who? I enter the classroom. This is my first stage. I'm in the lead end. Who should talk first? To whom? All you want or all of them? So you're going to write T S S. Teacher to students. This is called interaction pattern. And always it is written like this in this class. Teacher, students. Good. So at the end it was okay, in pairs, talk together and discuss what was your last vacation. Where was your last vacation? That's a question I wanted you to discuss. So I, I was a teacher, talking to the students, giving them the task. Then what happens? I send in pairs. Talk about your last vacation. So who is talking to who? Thank you. Student. This means pair work. If I let them work in groups of three, so who are talking to who? Students. Students. Students? Students. Can you see it? Good. What if I let the student work alone? Like he's answering the question alone. What should I write? Yes, student alone. Is he? 
So think about different stages. Who is talking to whom? And write the interaction pattern in front of each stage. Also, you have three pairs and you have three pairs. Okay? So, are you writing the interaction pattern of each step? Yes or no? Are you working alone or in pairs? How many units do we take per day? Thank you. 
Parece que ouro aqui. Ah, ali, aí. Quantos tem grupo de pegos com isso? It increases the student's talking time, it increases the teacher's talking time. That's the main thing. Do you have other ideas? Maybe it's a story of the short groups of speak out of it. Speak out. Maybe it's a story of the short of speak out of it. Thank you, thank you. That's a very good idea. Good point. Some students are shy, right? Put them in groups. We will talk. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You have other ideas, guys? Thank you. Yeah. So, in really life, do you usually talk alone? See the word itself as unlogical. Do you talk alone? Say yes. Sometimes. <laughs> but we don't want we don't want to repeat it. Sometimes you talk about what I mean we need to still like we do some kind of simulation in the real life. What are you just talking to the students? Let them talk together. They don't really have time to talk outside. So the classroom is the only space for them to start talking. You're taking this advantage. You're just talking. We don't get the chance to talk. So pair them, group them. Don't always let them work alone. Okay? Because they are already alone outside. Okay. Good. So let's have some ideas. Read it. Okay. Do you agree with that? Yes or no? This is what I said. Who said try students? Get that. Correct? Try students? Yeah. More time to speak. Right? If we always give them like terms, maybe I had 70 students. So this student will never get to work in this term, right? Yeah. I started from here. What about your work? You won't ever work. Hear them. I, I meant. Like we started from here in terms one one student is always getting really us. Thank you. Save time. Instead of just okay, you answer the first question. Second question. Third question. Fourth question. Guys, discuss all the questions and that's the answer key. See? Just two minutes. You wasted a lot of time keep asking them one by one. Good. Why did I seat you in this pattern? Good. I'm monitoring. I'm monitoring. This is your job. While students doing an action, they are doing an activity, you shouldn't be scrolling your Facebook or just talking like that or making fun of one student. Your only job is to monitor and support sometimes. I can see that some of them, they couldn't really, after I gave the instructions, some students <coughs> started answering, but some others, they are still struggling. So go, work, support. So, I'm saying, why do you teach you? Don't stop the whole class to explain to these two. They are struggling, but they are working. So just go, sign me, support them. So I need this space, if you were sitting like that. This person will always be a I can't go there and check his answers. I can't see if he's working or not. So always manage this. This is why, by the way, I want this workshop to have only 30 students. Because I have six benches. So now I took three to monitor. If I tell it everywhere, how should I monitor? Think about that. This is also a, this is the essential thing about us monitoring, right? Monitor, support. The rich students, if you can't answer, there is still confidence for them. So it gives you time. But if I'm asking one to one, okay, he can answer the first one. Uh, no, I'll answer the second one. I can't move. I have to give instructions all the time. Right? Can I really move a monitor? 
people, right? Another thing for people. That's it. Okay. The control is yours. In real life, you talk to other people. Why shouldn't you talk to your colleagues in the classroom? Real life communication. Variety of teaching methods. I'm not doing all the tasks individually. No, let's have some individual work. Let's have some favor. Right? I did what I did most of the tasks in pairs in that. But what about this task? When I ask you to answer. Did I also ask you to work in pairs? Or did I just elicit the answers? This is called open plus work. Okay? I, I want you to just give me answers. Variety guys, have a variety. Don't just every time pay and pay and pay or grouping. Good. And you're going to do a task alone. Because you need to 